Hello everyone, Alyssa Reynolds here today talking all about how all of us are always, always actively channeling. And I wanted to focus this discussion specifically on one thing that I am hugely passionate about and I know that all of you are always around and that is music. I don't know about you, but I do not go one day without listening to at least one song. Usually it's way more than that, and usually I am over here on my lovely piano as well. And what I wanted to bring into this particular discussion on how we are all actively channeling and how we do it through music is with my love of piano. I've played piano for about 22 years now. I'm classically trained, but due to an injury when I was working on my performer's certification at university, I went a very different track from the typical classical pianist who is performing works by Chopin, Brahms, Beethoven, and is right to the note, to the rhythm, to the rests exact on whatever is on the sheet music, barring their own twists in terms of the color, the emotion that they put into the music. I went way different from that after an injury that stopped me from going that route, really. And it was all thanks to this amazing performance by a woman who called herself a seance pianist. Now, I know some of you are going to be like, ooh, seance, isn't that all strange Victorian period, like, ghost stuff? that's really frivolous and not treating matters seriously. Yes, perhaps, but she did it because it was her particular title that happened to draw interest in. It's interesting, it's like seance pianist. What is that? And really, she was simply channeling the energies of the audience and the space she was in to create a song for that particular moment and for that particular audience. She sat down at the piano and explained this to us and then began to play a wonderful piece for about 20 minutes that had particular rhythms and a particular melody that kept repeating throughout in the right hand, in the main melody, as well as a rhythm that kept going in the left hand that served as what she called the heart of the energies in the room and from all of the audience. But intermingled with that were various different variations on that main theme, and things sometimes that went totally off of it and didn't sound at all like they were going anywhere in terms of what we think of a traditional melody or a traditional song that has a really clear beginning, middle, and end, almost like a musical story. Her music instead was flowing and changing and going through all the different people in the audience and in the room itself. And that really inspired me after I recovered from the injury and I just didn't want anything to do with really <laughs> concert level pieces and matching to the note exactly what was on the page. And I started just playing around. In musical terms, you may call that improv, but what I was doing was trying to find my love of piano again 
by doing that. And so when I'd sit down at the piano, I would tune into how I was feeling in the moment. And that feeling was translated then to a particular key and a particular melody. So just so that I'm not going into a bunch of music theory and terms, for those of you who are not musicians, I was going into keys that are often applied to feelings of sadness, feelings of reminiscence, or keys that are applied to feelings of excitement, of happiness, of joy. And I began to figure out my own um, thoughts and feelings to each of the keys, because everybody, as I've said in past videos, has a different frequency. And because of that, they interact with energies in different ways. And music itself is a frequency too. And you can apply certain emotions or colors or images to certain keys or certain notes. But there's also so much individuality to it as well. And let me also just preface this with the fact that I am speaking from 22 years of experience as a pianist and also as a medium. Which means there's a lot of material out there that and cut. So I'm speaking from many years of experience as a pianist, and I'm also speaking as a medium. I'm not speaking as a th sound therapist, and they have some amazing, amazing stuff, and there are particular tonalities that do match with very specific frequencies. But I'm not going into that because I haven't researched into that much myself. I'm a lot more interested on just the day-to-day -day level of what music does for us and what it has done for me, and using it as a medium itself to channel energies and spirit and what they're saying. So that's where my particular um, playing um, style went, was I would sit down and I would tune into what I was feeling in a particular moment, and it may have been something like joy um, and curiosity, excitement, very childlike feeling, and that to me is the note of C, the middle C, and applying further to the key of C. And from that then, I would begin to play the left hand, developing what the heart of that particular energy, that particular feeling was that I was feeling in the moment. And then I would add the right hand in. And that would go through sometimes a specific repetitive melody, and sometimes it would just go all over the place, depending on what I was feeling in that moment. And since I began to actively channel this um, channeling through piano has developed into something that's been so much more precise where I focus in on a particular individual or a particular place and create a song that matches with their frequency that is describing how they are to me. And you might say it comes across as they are an 
F major person, which also has colors to me of yellow, and orange, and res. It's bright, but it's adventurous, but it's an older sound. So compared to a C major that's lighter in the sense of being very childlike, F major to me sounds more like an adult who is out adventuring, exploring. They're trekking through forests across rivers, whatever it is. That's something that I really apply to um, that particular key. But it also changes depending on the person that I'm tuning into. And I might have a pull to create their energy through the key of C, and it's not because they have a very childlike, innocent curiosity, they're seekers, but rather it's because they are just full of love and they may be somebody who is so, so heart-centered. So, though I said earlier that certain notes and keys do have particular colors, they have particular feelings that we apply to them, that's not necessarily the case. It's a little bit like if any of you are into astrology or, um, say, looking at herbs or crystals, which all have different correspondences with them. They each have different things that they are known for helping to increase. So, for example, um, using rose quartz is fantastic for helping you to ground. But on a different level, with rose quartz, I feel like I'm connecting with my inner child when I hold a rose quartz. And that's not something that's generally attached to what rose quartz does. And that's the same with music. So when you are playing music, if you're a musician, or if you're just playing a song because you're one of those millions and millions of people out there who loves listening to music, and frankly I've never met anybody who doesn't love listening to music, when you're listening to that song or you're playing a song, tune into how the song makes you feel. How are you feeling in that moment as you're hearing the song? Is it making you feel excited? Is it making you feel sad? Is it making you feel happy? Is it making you feel like you want to start running forward and break through the horizon? Or is it making you want to fall asleep and just slip off to dreamland? And when you've tuned into what that song makes you feel, is that something that you want to feel based on that song? Because the other side to music is, because it is a particular frequency, it impacts how we're feeling. And so it can amplify those feelings of happiness, or it can amplify those feelings of sadness. Don't know about all of you, but definitely when I was younger and I was going through grumpy teenage phases <laughs> or all those frustrations of growing up, I would listen to certain songs that were not particularly cheery over and over and over <laughs> because that was the emotion that I was just entrenched in. But the thing was, it really entrenched me on that. But then sometimes, now as an adult, if I find myself in a particular mood that I don't want to be in, all it takes is turning on a song that I know makes me happier. And it may take a little bit, depending on where my 
emotions and feelings are at, but I'll find myself rising from that sadness or that frustration and feeling a lot happier and a lot brighter because of the song that I'm listening to. So even if you are not a musician and you can't sit down and start plucking away on a guitar um, or a ukulele or a piano or your flute, you can still be turning on music and tuning into how it makes you feel and just allowing yourself to become more aware of the kinds of music that you're listening to and if perhaps there's certain songs you are playing over and over and over or you're hearing them over and over or they're stuck in your head because that's a whole other side to music in that that's how spirit connects with us. It's a way of them connecting to us if we're not at that stage of being able yet to hear them clearly or receive even images through music. They're sending us messages as well. So for our last little bit here, what I wanted to do is play a song for all of you based on today's energies. So I am tuning into this specific day. It is Saturday, it is June, and it is the 6th. <laughs> so based on it being Saturday, June 6th, I am feeling it is a day of B flat. It is a day of beginnings into the summer. It is a day of things brightening, things beginning to move, of getting out, of standing up, of pulling ourselves up. And it's not quick. It's got a heat to it, a feeling of that summer sun beating down, where right away you don't feel quite like running, but you will in a bit. And then when you have run and run and run, and you have filled yourself up with all of that summer sun, You then rest. Right. All right, so when it comes to when I sit down to channel music, usually I tune into right away what the key is that a song will be in, and that sets the scene. So I'm feeling a B flat major key, and what I will do is I will begin to just feel out the rhythms of the left hand that sets the heartbeat to the song.
So, as you go about your day and your next few days, tune into how music you are listening to, or music that you are playing, or music that you are creating is making you feel. What is the emotion that you have as you surround yourself with the frequency of whatever song you are listening to? And those feelings may not come in words of happy, sad, worried, wondering, curious. It may come in colors. You may attach certain songs to reds, oranges, yellows, or maybe turquoise, blues, greens, emeralds, and citrine. Maybe a song is all of those all at once. Or maybe you get specific images and scenes. I often do myself when I am playing a song that somebody else has written, or the songs that I am channeling. I get full scenes of people dancing, of people walking up a road toward a house, of deer on a mountain, or eagles in the sky, whatever it is. It's always a whole picture. It's a whole story. But that's because through my many years of playing piano, all of my teachers were always telling me, what is the story in this piece? Find the story, feel the story, and pull it up. For you, it may just be single words and colors. And whatever it is, just begin to take note of whatever you are feeling or you're seeing and begin to see what kinds of frequencies you are surrounding yourself with and are these frequencies that you want to continue keeping around yourself or maybe you're going to try out some other ones and see how different frequencies of music make you feel. What about a genre of music that you've never listened to? Put one up or turn one on rather, and tune into maybe why you're not into country music. <laughs> I'm not into country music. And that's just because the particular emotions and the feelings and the stories that are often applied to country music are not ones that resonate with me. So with that, I wish all of you a wonderful rest of your day, much, much wonderful music magic to all of you, and remember that you are all actively channeling through the music that you are listening to every day. You are getting messages from other energies, and you are telling yourself messages. So, many blessings and love to all of you, and I will see all of you tomorrow. I will be channeling the Archangel Shamuel. So until then, goodbye for now.